morning everyone welcome back hope you guys are having a good day today it's beautiful outside on this Monday morning so as you could probably see from the intro video we have quite a story to tell you um, I can't quite tell it yet until Pat comes back home from work today but stay tuned because there's definitely a story behind what you just saw and we'll probably go back to visit those little guys today to show you how well they're doing. So do you want to explain why we have a squirrel in our bathroom, in your parents' bathroom? <laughs> yeah. Alright, so this is the story of these guys. So, uh, a little while ago, my parents noticed that there was a sound coming from their soffit, which is like the trim in the front of the house on the outside. Um, so they heard the scratching and didn't know what it was, so they sent me up there to investigate. And we actually have a picture, or I took a picture of what happened. There was a hole chewed through their roof. A few days later, they saw a large squirrel going in and out of there. So they called around to see if there was any animal control people that could go ahead and try to capture it and release it. And there's a law in Illinois where squirrels are considered nuisances. So they get put down if they get captured. My parents weren't sure what to do. They didn't want to kill these guys. They had nothing else they could do because it was ruining the house. So they set up a trap and captured her. And they released her at a forest preserve nearby. And a few days later, they still heard scratching going on. They didn't know what was going on. Well, it ended up being her babies that were in the soffit. The babies were cold and hungry, and they actually fell out of the, uh, the soffit under the ground. And at that point, my parents didn't know what to do. They left them for a day, and by the second day, they were still on the ground. So they decided to try to help them out. This guy in particular actually jumped up onto my dad's foot and was sitting there waiting, just kind of holding on and shivering. So they took, there's three of them in all. They took all three of them in. Um, they're going to hold on to them for a couple more weeks until they're sure that they're going to be able to survive out in the wild. They just got done weaning um, or getting off of their mother's milk. So they're, they're starting to eat solid foods, which is a good sign. They're a little friendly, so we're actually going to have to start interacting with them less. But we just figured we'd film this video and show you guys what's going on with that. Eventually, um, in a few weeks, we're going to release them back into the wild, and uh, hopefully they'll be good to live out the rest of their lives.
right, guys. Well, that's it for today's video. Thanks for watching. We will continue to give you updates on the squirrels and when we release them back into the wild. If you like what you saw, make sure you hit that like button, share it with your friends, and leave us a comment below and let us know if you've ever had anything like this happen to you and what you did about it. And as always, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and we'll see you next time. Bye!